serve a lot of beautiful food in any city, but when you really immerse somebody into the setting of where the food's coming from, it's on a whole new level. And they're like widening all the possibilities because they've also got narrowed is really fun for me. So that is going to create new flavor and new ideas. It forces me to even be a little bit more creative and think and problem solve. The ability to get what I'm looking for every season that's forageable in one location is really incredible as opposed to in the past having to go to one place to get my myrtles and another place to get the ramps and another place to get the hen of the woods mushroom. The fact that everything so far that I've wanted has all been here is really amazing. There's mushrooms right down the hill. There's fish right in the river. Blueberries that are popping up along our trail. There's ramps. There's nettles that grow around here. There's all sorts of different pine cones that I've been collecting that I've either fermented or made kombucha. Also using a local wheat producer who, who mills their own flowers and using them for my breads. Using local dairy for our butter. My neighbor is a fisherman, so he gets uh, Lake Superior trout. I'll be smoking that over the fire. I've never been able to get really good Great Lakes fish from any purveyor in Chicago. It feels like going straight to the source. So the ability to be able to get some really quality fish is really special. Doing it out here, doing it in smaller quantities, and then just utilizing everything that's around us. Friday night, when people come, we're going to have potato pierogi. Pierogi was something that I really started my career with. We'll have lake trout. I'll do at least two or three of them over the fire. I'll cure them with brown sugar and salt first, and then just smoke them for like six hours. Saturday morning, I'll probably always do some sort of stew and make a flatbread. Just kind of doing something like that, it just always tastes so good and so hearty. On Saturday night, it'll be 15 courses, a variety of everything, you know, more intricately plated and really representing everything. Sunday morning, I'll make my bread. Just having it on an open fire makes a really big difference in the flavor. I'll make donuts. I will make poached eggs. I'll probably get some kind of pork belly or some kind of meat that I'll cure and smoke from the farmer's market. And then, yeah, everybody will head on their way. I've wanted to do something like this for a really, really long time, and the closest I could get was starting the restaurant at Elizabeth, but now that I was able to get to this point, and when I saw the opportunity, I just immediately did it, because this is what's next for me.